This past week, the pharmaceutical company Moderna announced that the U.S. government has purchased 200 million additional doses of its COVID vaccine. And as NPR's Allison Aubrey reports, fighting COVID could be just the beginning. Back in January, just one month after Moderna's vaccine was authorized for emergency use, Mutations of the virus, known as variants, not only spread faster than the original virus, they may also be more deadly. Fears about a more contagious strain began to grip the nation. The variant of COVID-19 first identified in South Africa has now been found in the U.S. And scientists at Moderna immediately realized this could be a threat. We didn't think we had time to wait. Dr. Stephen Hogue is president of the company. We thought if we don't start now, then by the time we get to the fall, we won't have an updated vaccine in case those variants really become a significant concern and start reinfecting people. As millions of doses rolled off the manufacturing line at their facility here in Norwood, Massachusetts, Hoag's team got to work to retool the vaccine. And within a week, you had designed a new vaccine. We designed that vaccine really overnight uh, and started manufacturing and, and had it and moved it into clinical trials within a month. It can take years to make a new vaccine, so this was a breakthrough. How is that possible? It has to do with our technology. So we use something called messenger RNA or mRNA for short. It's really just an instruction molecule, kind of like a software program for your cells. It just sends instructions about what the virus looks like to your immune system. So just like a software program or a Word document, we can simply edit something, change it, and then manufacture it very, very quickly. He makes it sound so easy, but it's taken more than a decade of research and many technological hurdles. Now the company has some big plans. Now we've had an incredible year uh, using messenger RNA to fight a pandemic. But we think we're just starting in the infectious disease space. And so there's a large number of other vaccines we're bringing forward. Their research pipeline includes everything from an HIV vaccine to heart disease treatments to vaccines for different kinds of cancer, including lymphoma and melanoma. Connie Franchosi is already participating in one clinical trial. When were you diagnosed with melanoma? I was diagnosed in May of 2020, so, so. just about a year ago. She's a two-time cancer survivor. And after surgery to remove the melanoma, her doctor had some troubling news. He did indicate that they had found melanoma cells in my lymph nodes, which meant that I would need to have further treatment. So you were at high risk of relapse? Yes, I was considered high risk for melanoma again. She started on a cancer-fighting immunotherapy drug. And she was offered the chance to get the experimental messenger RNA vaccine designed to prevent a relapse. When you weigh the possible benefits from something like this, I just had to go for it. It's definitely too soon to say. I'm optimistic, but the jury's still out. Dr. Ryan Sullivan of Massachusetts General Hospital treats Connie. He says the idea is that the vaccine can help generate the right mix of cancer-fighting immune cells. The best case scenario is that a combination of an mRNA vaccine plus a standard immunotherapy is shown to reduce the risk of relapse. And if we see that happen, uh, it will change the way we treat patients in the future. It will take several years to determine this, but in the meantime, Moderna's CEO, Stefan Bonsell, thinks messenger RNA technology can revolutionize a shot millions of us already get each year. Let's talk about the flu vaccine. Everything is wrong about it. The very process of making it makes no sense. Currently, flu vaccines can take months to produce. To make the shots, scientists actually inject flu virus into eggs. It's a decades-old approach, and Bonsell says it's part of the reason they're not always very effective. You know, you have to start very early on, so you have to guess which strain will be in the U.S. next year. So his plan is to change this. Moderna aims to start a clinical trial later this year. And if it turns out COVID boosters are needed, Moderna wants to combine its coronavirus vaccines with a new flu shot. So we're going to just throw everything out the window 
and give you a good high efficacy vaccine every winter. And then we're going to combine it with a COVID vaccine booster so you can have a nice winter. That's his vision for the future. It's not clear how this will turn out, but what is clear is that Moderna, which grew from a tiny startup to a household name over the course of one year, is betting on the speed and versatility of mRNA technology. So basically you have developed a delivery system for all kinds of different medications or therapies. That's really the promise of the technology. It really is the same system every time. Just like we updated our vaccine in January for the new variants of concern in SARS-CoV-2, we can actually update it to go after all of the other viruses that we're looking at just as quickly. And that really allows us to advance medicines across a wide range of diseases, both in cancer and in vaccines. Meanwhile, Connie Franchosi says she's back to living a busy life. It seems like you have a lot to live for. I do. There are certain things I can't change. Can't change my age, can't change my DNA, or the fact that I've had cancer. But I can change my attitude toward it, the opportunities that have been presented to me to do everything I can to avoid having a recurrence. And participating in the mRNA research trial also makes her feel like she's giving back. I feel very fortunate. I feel very fortunate indeed to have this opportunity because you're helping humanity, you're helping people down the road, people you'll never meet.